What's up guys, it's River Rat Productions and today I'm be doing a Mystery Tech Box Elite unboxing and this was uh, going to be my Sunday video because normally I post on Sundays but it did not get here until yesterday and it was pretty late in the evening whenever I got it so I didn't want to post it so I'm waiting until now to actually open it up but um, if you haven't already please smash that subscribe button down below we're on the way to 1,000 subs by the end of the year and 88% of you guys were not subscribed on the last Mystery Tackle Box unboxing and I would greatly appreciate it if you guys did smash that subscribe button. We're pretty close. We're officially over 500 now and I, I appreciate all you guys watching and I can't wait to keep growing with you guys. So also follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below and I'll also have a link where you can pick up your own Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Well, let's see what's inside guys. Alright guys, let's see what's inside this box. Pretty excited. And also, if I do sound a little sick, it's because I am. Um, I'm just real congested, but I should be fine. I really wanted to do this video for you guys. But let's see what we got. Alright, I'll just grab the first thing off the top of the box that I see that interests me. And this is a Mystery Tackle Box exclusive bait. Um, it's the Lucky John and it's a Shad 80X. And it has a diving depth of 0 to 2.3 meters. Um, it's 13 grams. I'm not exactly sure how much that is in like ounces. But yeah, that is that is perfect. That would do good this time of year. Especially whenever they're feeding up on shad. This would be the perfect little lure to throw. Especially whenever the shad are pushed up shallow. Uh, it looks like it's a pretty good quality bait. Um, I really like the paint scheme on it. It's real reflective. The eyes look really realistic. And yeah, I just feel like that would just get destroyed. So I really can't wait to use this and I, I bet I could catch a pretty nice bass off of this. And then we got the dynamic spec. And this kind of looks like a saltwater pattern. Um, I've actually never thrown a lure like that. Um, it's three inches long, five sixteenths of an ounce, and it dives between anywhere between one and four feet. Um, it has a suspended action too. Uh, this would do really really well, especially whenever the water is pretty stained that will stand out That's for sure and it's something different. You don't see a lot of people throw colors like this for fresh water that much I could be wrong um, At least I personally have not if you have let me know down below But yeah, this would do really good whenever the bass are pretty lethargic. It looks like the baits pretty good quality Looks like the hooks are pretty sharp on it. it looks like the bills not too brittle and the rattle system in it. It's pretty good. So yeah, definitely can't wait to try that out. And then the next one is a Weston bait. Wow, this is actually really unique. I think this is a top water lure. I think. Yeah, it's uh it is a top water. It's a floating and it's called the black haze is the color of it. It is called a spot on twin turbo. And I've actually never seen this before. But if you guys can see right there, kind of has these props on the back here. And also, sorry that I don't have my light. Um, something happened with the cord and it's not working. So I'll make sure I have an, another light by the next mystery tackle box. But this would do really good this time of year, especially whenever the bass are really aggressive and feeding on top water. This would do good. That paint job on it's pretty unique. I really kind of like it. So. I feel like it would do pretty good and I feel like the action would also be pretty unique. Um, I've been pretty impressed with the Weston baits that I've got out in the mystery tackle box. So yeah, it's it looks like it's a pretty nice little lure and I can't wait to try it. And yeah, I wonder how much it weighs. It's 19 grams. But yeah, that looks awesome. I can't wait to actually try that out. I want to see how unique it is compared to like a Whopper Plopper or like a Spook or something like that. I feel like this would do really well. And then we got the X-Zone Pro Series lures. And this is the 3.25 MB Finesse Crawl. And there's eight in a pack. It is black and blue flake. And I have got X-Zone lures. And I've been pretty impressed with them. I use them a lot for like trailers on my jigs. Whenever I run out. I always make sure I have them in there. But yeah. Those look pretty perfect. I would definitely throw that on a black and blue jig. Specifically like a football jig. This would really shine because it imitates the crawl pretty nice. I mean, that is what it's supposed to imitate after all. But yeah, I feel like that would do good, especially whenever the water's really, really muddy. 
a black and blue you can never go wrong with. June Bug's also another good color, but black and blue is like my go-to whenever the water's stained like that. So not a bad thing to get because you can never have too many trailers. And what do you know, Carl's Amazing Baits, and this is like a, a worm that you put on a shaky head. Um, yeah, look at it. It's a June Bug color. Uh, that's a really good uh, color to use for whenever the water is stained. So this is a really slept on color and I really love June Bug. Um, I recently started using June Bug a lot more over the past year or two and you can, you honestly can't go too wrong with it. Uh, not a lot of people throw it so the bass don't see it as much and it's just a good color to throw but yeah, I'd put this on a shaky head. Um, you can also put this on like a Texas rig if you wanted to, but shaky head would probably be the best. Um, yeah, I feel like that would definitely get bit. Uh, I can't wait to see like what the action's gonna look like in the water. And then we got the Grande Bass, and these are four inch Mega Claws, and the color on it is Ballistic Gill. Um, that's actually a pretty sick color. Gary Almoto has a similar color to this. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but if you guys could see that, I know it's kind of hard to see it. Um, I think it would actually do pretty good. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it. It's definitely a pretty cool little lure. Uh, it has a lot of different color flakes in it. There's some red, there's some blue, there's some purple, um, silver, black. And it's a green pumpkin base if you guys couldn't tell what the color was but this would also do really good on the back of a, a jig or if you wanted to texas rig the soft plastics this would be a good option um i've actually never got this company out of a mystery tackle box um it's called grande bass again um yeah i it looks like the baits are pretty good quality it doesn't look like they tear too easy I'm kind of squeezing on them right now and it feels like they're pretty sturdy, but doesn't give up too much of the action. And they have a lot of detail on it. Even on the little appendages, they have little, little tiny appendages coming off of that. I've actually never seen anything like that. So, honestly, I might try this on some jigs. So, pretty excited I got this in my box. And then we got the Fish Hoey Lures. And it says, I'd hit that. Um... I don't know exactly what these are actually. Um, they're called Outlaw Crawls. They're pretty big, honestly. If you guys can see that. I really like the color on it too. I don't know exactly what that color would be called. It's, it has like a purplish tint to it. But yeah, it's 4.125 inches. So that would be perfect. This would be good for like flipping, pitching, punching, Texas rigging, Carolina rigs. And you can use it as a jig, like I said, on the, you can use it as a trailer on a jig. So, this will be perfect. I'm actually kind of glad that I got these. It looks like they're pretty good quality. Um, this would really do good on, like, the back of a jig, especially whenever the water's more clear. I feel like this would stand out more. And then we got the Lunker Hut Jolt 2.5F. And it is the Impact Series. Um, it is a floating lure and it has a tight wobble. It's one third of an ounce, two and one eighths of an inch, and it has a diving depth of 2.5 feet. And the color for it is called Silverside. Now that's a pretty nice little lure right there. I've gotten more into crankbaits, especially over the past couple of years. And honestly, you can't really go too wrong with it. So I can't wait to throw that. It looks like the the scheme's pretty nice, and I also like how they have the depth on the bottom of the bait here. Um, the lure looks like it's really good quality. I really like the paint scheme, and honestly, I can't wait to throw it. So, there's one last look at it there. And then we got the Prism 5X, and this is an extra wide gap hook. And there's two of these in here, and it's made out of titanium. That's actually pretty unique. Um, I don't know if you guys can really see that there. Oh yeah, you guys can definitely see that. Well, it's pretty interesting. Um, I've never used anything titanium, I think, for hooks. So I would be curious to see how it would affect the action and just how well it would perform. So honestly, I might try these out. I wish there was more that would have came in it, but I don't know how expensive these are. So two seems like it's a pretty decent amount. So 
Definitely can't wait to try that and you can never have too many hooks. And then we got the Dibble and I love getting this every month because you're able to read about kind of interesting things in fishing, kind of things that you wouldn't really know even if you are kind of more experienced like me or even if you're just starting out, it's definitely something good to know. Um, some of the topics in it is the gnomes and the well, five topwater lures for bass, um, how to catch more panfish from a kayak, three easy ways to become a more responsible angler, uh, it has an Ask Carl section, uh, the deadly drop shot, uh, breaking down the mangroves, meet Mike Iconelli, um, has an angler spotlight and bait casting versus spinning reel and then it has a little quiz on the back so it's definitely pretty cool I definitely love getting it every month and it's definitely something nice to read through and just kind of see what's going on in like the whole fishing community and you can actually pick up new techniques and little cool tricks out of this so it's definitely not a bad thing to get and then we got this little sticker here which I think looks pretty cool. So I'll definitely be putting that on my box. And then it has a little thing for the Weston spot on twin turbo features. Uh, talks about its low frequency rattle, realistic eyes and wide head profile for waking action, elevated ribs for added turbulence, semi soft counter rotating twin propellers that fold during cast and strikes, ultra strong carbon steel hooks. And if you guys want to look at that, I'll leave it to where you guys can pause the video. And then on the back, it talks about uh, the lure and what gear it recommends. Uh, it recommends a seven foot medium heavy to heavy rod. Uh, the reel is a high speed bait casting reel, size 711 or 911. And the line is 30 to 50 pound braid. Okay, so now it's time to figure out if this box is worth it or not and I'll go through how much each and every item was in the box. Um, the first one is the Weston Spot On Twin Turbo and it is $17.99. And that's, that runs about the same price as like a Whopper Plopper or uh, the Berkeley version of it. And honestly, I can't wait to try it out. Um, I just seen now that it's 11 sixteenths of an ounce. It says it right here on the bottom of the lure. And I really like that color scheme and it definitely seems pretty unique. I haven't really seen anything like it, but yeah, I can't wait to try that out. And we got the Lucky John Shad for $9.99. And this lure, it looks like it would do really well, especially whenever there's shad spawning or the bass are going after shad. This would be a perfect lure to throw. And this is $9.99, like I said. And yeah, I feel like it would do really good. The paint's pretty nice on it. The hooks look pretty good. I really like the eyes on it. And I definitely feel like that'll catch some fish. So I can't wait to try that out. And then we got the Dynamic Lures J Spay. And that's this one that I wasn't really too sure about. Um, it definitely seems like more of a saltwater colored, but I feel like it could do pretty good, especially whenever the water would be like stained. Um, and plus fish don't really see this color in freshwater as much I feel like especially around here where I live So I definitely feel like this might actually do pretty decent and that was $7.95 if I didn't mention that earlier And then we got the Lunker Hunt Impact Series Jolt for $7.49 And this lure would do really really well especially when the bass are up shallow and feeding on uh, bait fish I feel like this would do really really well So pretty excited to try this out I like the paint scheme on it, and it looks like the bill is pretty good durability. I like how the depth's on the bottom, and the hooks look pretty sharp too. So, can't wait to give it a shot. Then we got the X-Zone Lures Finesse Muscle Back Craw for $5.99. And that is these right here. Those black and blue uh, craws I showed you earlier. And this would do good, like on a Texas rig, Carolina rig. Um, Personally, me, I would use it on the back of a jig as a trailer. I feel like it would have pretty good action. So I can't wait to actually try these out. And then we got the Grande Fishing Mega Claws for $4.99. And those are these lures right here that you guys couldn't really see the color of. Maybe you kind of see it now. But yeah, it is $4.99. 
And these would do pretty good to uh, basically the same as the eight zone lowers. This would be good on like a Texas rig, Carolina rig, or even put it on the trailer. Personally me, I put it on the trailer, but that's just me. You can do whatever you want with it. And then we got the Carl's Amazing Baits Flicker Worm for $4.99. And those would do really good on the shaky head. And don't sleep on that June bug color. June bug's probably honestly one of my favorite colors to throw. And it's just a really good color to use, honestly. I mean, that's all I can really say. And I definitely feel like these would get bit. Especially if you put it in the right conditions in front of a bass. And then we got the Fish Hoey Allures Outlaw for $4.28. And those were these right here. I wasn't really too sure on the color. I still don't see the color on it. So I'd have to probably go look and see what exactly the color is. But I feel like these would definitely do pretty good. Um, especially in clear water situations, I feel like this would shine. So, can't wait to try these out. And then we got the Catch Outdoors Prism EWG Worm Hook, and it is 232. And those are these hooks that are made out of titanium. And I definitely feel like these would actually do pretty good, and you can never have too many hooks. So, yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually pretty excited to get these in my box to try them out. I feel like they'll do pretty good. Personally, I think this box was worth it. Um, there was a lot of companies that I've never really heard of that I got out of this box. And honestly, I'm pretty impressed with it pretty much every time. Um, it's a good way to figure out new companies that you haven't really heard of before, and new lures, and new soft plastics, you know. It's just a really good way to kind of figure out what exactly you like, especially if you're new, but it's also good for experienced people too, because like I said, it's companies that you've never really heard of and who knows you might really like their lure so yeah I definitely think it was worth it if you made it this far in the video make sure you smash that subscribe button especially since we're on the way to 1000 by the end of the year um, I got some pretty big plans for the rest of the year will I be able to do it I'm not really too sure I want to try my hardest um, my goal is to do pretty much all the rivers and lakes it'll probably be rivers at, by the end of the year but I'm wanting to fish them all and float them all. So I want to try fishing for smallmouth in a lot of different places. And it's going pretty decent. Um, we recently did the Holston and the Little Pigeon River. So yeah, I, there's a few more in Tennessee that we want to do. And I think there's a few down in South Carolina and a few in North Carolina. And uh, yeah, we'll probably do some up in Virginia too, probably like the James River. But if you have any spots that you guys would want to tell me about, uh, it doesn't have to be a specific spot, just like a river or something like that, uh, leave a comment down below. Or even a lake, I'd be down with that. Um, I've been to a lot of them, but most of them I have it, depending on which state it's in. So that's something that I'm wanting to do by the end of the year. And if you have made it this far in the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It's a good way to stay tuned with the channel. I post every week. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, especially since we're on the way to 1,000 by the end of the year. Um, I got some pretty big plans for the rest of the year. Will I be able to do it? I'm not really too sure. I want to try my hardest. Um, my goal is to do pretty much all the rivers and lakes. It'll probably be rivers at, by the end of the year, but I'm wanting to fish them all and float them all. So I want to try fishing for smallmouth in a lot of different places. and It's going pretty decent. Um, we recently did the Holston and the Little Pigeon River. So yeah, I, there's a few more in Tennessee that we want to do. And I think there's a few down in South Carolina and a few in North Carolina. And uh, yeah, we'll probably do some up in Virginia too, probably like the James River. But if you have any spots that you guys would want to tell me about, uh, it doesn't have to be a specific spot, just like a river or something like that. Uh, leave a comment down below, or even a lake. I'd be down with that. Um, I've been to a lot of them, but most of them I have it, depending on which state it's in. So that's something that I'm wanting to do by the end of the year. And if you have made it this far in the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button. It's a good way to stay tuned with the channel. I post every week. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below. And I'll also have a link to where you can pick up your own mystery tackle box. And yeah, until next time, guys. See you later.